Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, a bit of an update since my last videos. I ended up buying a Tesla Model 3 a couple of weeks ago. So in this video, I'm gonna take you on a drive and talk about some of the benefits and features that I like and maybe some things that I miss about my previous vehicles. So let's hit the road and go for a drive. Okay, so just shifted into drive and pulling out of my garage. Now, obviously this being a Tesla, it is an electric vehicle. So there's no engine. Uh, it's very quiet in terms of overall noise. The other beautiful thing about an electric vehicle is the instant torque that you get. So, very fun to drive. And this uses one pedal drive. So if you time it just right, you can release the throttle and the vehicle will use regenerative braking to come to a stop so you don't have to use the brake pads as often as you would with a internal combustion vehicle. So I will engage autopilot by pressing down on the right stalk twice, which will turn on the traffic aware cruise control as well as the auto steer function. And I have it set to go five miles above the speed limit. So speed limit here is 55, it'll go to 60. So one, two, now auto steer is engaged, keep your hands on the wheel. And Auto wipers are on as well. It just started raining a little bit. So this is a hands-on, the steering wheel sort of function. This is not full self-driving. That is an additional feature. Okay, a little bit of braking there. I think it couldn't see over the hill, so it will automatically brake uh, until it can sense far enough into the uh, into the distance. Now, like I said, this is auto wipers. I can press the button on the left stalk at the end of the left stalk to manually engage the wiper. I did not press it there, but it it did uh, correct. It, it did engage the wiper automatically. Okay, now I just disengaged autopilot by pressing up on the right stock. Um, I did have to use the brake here because the regen, the regenerative braking was not happening quick enough. Okay, so I can just press the throttle pretty pretty hard and now we're moving okay so double press the right stock and uh, I don't know if you can see in the video but we are following behind one of the Amazon Rivian vans I have my dome lights on I'm gonna switch those back to auto so here actually one of the things I really like about Tesla in particular is their technology in terms of the center display and all of the settings and controls that this vehicle has. So we've got these beautiful satellite maps. Um, I have turned on the full self-driving visualization preview so that will display certain things uh, 
on the left side of the screen here, it can see trash cans and that sort of thing. It'll show uh, traffic signals, different traffic um, control devices. Okay, I'm going to follow this van. I just released the throttle. We are regen, regening. I need to add a little bit of friction brake in because we weren't slowing fast enough. The bad, I did not precondition the vehicle, so the battery was probably a little bit on the cooler side. There is a warning that will pop up over here that indicates if the battery, uh, if regen will be limited. So you'll get limited regen if your battery is very full, like at 100%, or if the battery is not quite warm enough. And this vehicle, I should tell you, this Model 3 is the rear wheel drive standard range variant. I'm going to re-engage autopilot. So I can adjust the following distance by pressing or by moving the right scroll wheel to the left. So that increased the following distance to five. Now we're to six. I can move it to the right to decrease the following distance if I want to be closer to the vehicle in front of me. So sometimes it wants input from the driver, which would be in the form of very gingerly adding a little bit of torque into the steering wheel. If you turn the steering wheel too much, it will disengage autopilot. So you just have to give it a little bit of a little bit of turn, but not enough where it'll throw off the autopilot. So you can see this black bar up here that indicates that you are using energy from the battery. When it goes the other direction to the left, it'll be green, and that means that you are regenning, you are putting energy back into the battery pack instead of using friction brakes and wasting energy. So ideally you would not use the friction brakes unless you have to. Okay, I'm going to turn off autopilot. This, the Rivian van is turning left. So we are regenning. Uh, um, okay, I have not... Okay, I did not touch the brakes at all there. That was all regen. So it's all about timing. If you can... If you can disengage autopilot or remove your foot from the throttle at just the right time, you can avoid using the friction brakes. Okay. So if you really need a lot of power, you could opt for the Model 3 Performance, which is much more geared towards going fast and, you know, having a lot of fun driving, all-wheel drive. It, uh, it's got track mode. So that is an option. It's got larger tires. I didn't need that. Uh, the one I ordered is a the cheapest one. The only option is the blue paint 
which was an additional thousand dollars. Okay, I'm gonna re-engage autopilot here. Lots of turns, kind of hard to see around corners. I did have to turn it a little to the right there. It was hugging the center a little too much for my comfort. And there was an oncoming vehicle. Re-engaging autopilot and auto steer. Okay, it is automatically slowing down. The speed limit has lowered here to 45. Disengage autopilot right now. We're approaching a stop sign. Okay, we gotta add a little bit of throttle because we were gonna stop a little too far back. Okay, well we're clear. Notice it sees the red light here. When the light turns green, it will chime to alert the driver. That is a configurable setting. Okay, it didn't chime. like this autopilot limits you to going only five over when you're using auto steer so I can't increase this the cruise control speed limit beyond 40 in this case the speed limits 35 now the way to get around that is you have to disengage autopilot and then if you just press the right stock down once it'll turn on Traffic Aware Cruise Control or TAC, T-A-C-C. -C. Press it once and then you can scroll up on the right wheel uh, to go faster if you want. But you have to steer manually. It will not steer for you. And then if you double press It'll reduce the speed limit, the cruise control limit to uh, five over. That's because it's not a divided highway. So on divided highways, it does let you go beyond that five over.
So as you can see, there's the camera here since I have engaged the left turn signal and you can move this over here or up here if you want, whichever, whichever you prefer. This is used for blind spots, that sort of thing. Okay, and then just press the button at the end of the right stock to shift into park. Now it's mentioning that I have a software update, which is true, and I'm gonna defer that slightly. That'll be a separate video. Okay, well, thanks for watching that video. Thanks for coming on that drive with me. Um, I really like this car. It's an electric vehicle, which is quite exciting. There's so much technology here. Um, I'll have a lot more uh, to say about it in the future. Uh, and I'll be posting a video about the uh, software update that's available, which just came today. So I'll install that. That'll be a different video. Thanks for watching.